Kimlin Company is sponsored by LowTeamRealty.com. Buy low, sell high with Keller Williams, Lake Travis Marketplace, Austin, Texas. Let us refer you to an expert agent near you. Buy low, sell high with LowTeamRealty.com. Hello, everyone. Welcome. You're listening to Kimlin Company right here on Contact Talk Radio. I'm your host, Kimla Lowe, and come along with me for the next hour. We're going to be talking about astrology. We're going to be talking about what's coming up for this last wrap up of March. You know, um, it's, uh, I don't know about you, but it just seems like time is just continually um, looping and looping and looping around. It's not like, you know, all the planets are going, you know, in direct motion, but for some odd reason, it just seems like we're playing the same loop over and over and over again. But I guarantee you when Mercury goes into Aries, it is really going to speed up. And so April has a lot of things going on for it as far as really making things happen. So we're anxious to kind of tie up the loose strings here in March. And one of the really good things to look forward to, of course, um, is was today, <laughs> March 25th, we had the uh, sun and it was conjuncting Venus. So you might have had some really nice things happen today as far as, oh, maybe some things in your love life, or perhaps you chose a new outfit or you picked out something wonderful. You know, Venus has a lot to do with value. And it's kind of like, what is your value? What do you value? Um, are you being valued and the people around you this is a great day to have a lot of that validation as we get into the weekend we have Passover yeah we have Passover beginning and uh, we also have uh, a little Virgo weekend ahead of us so if you need to be more organized or you need to clean something out or tie up some loose ends just like we were talking about that moon in Virgo is really going to help you. Also, if you have any kind of detailed work that you need to do, you know, tax season's coming up, we need to kind of, you know, kind of go through all of our uh, details, our receipts, so we don't forget something important and um, make sure that we are ready even though we've been given kind of a little bit of an extension again on our tax returns here in the States, I want everybody to know that this weekend's a great weekend to maybe put away winter and really get organized and um, maybe clean out the garage or the basement or closets and, you know, roll up the really heavy rugs and, you know, really kind of think thinking a little bit lighter and that spring is right you know spring has sprung but um the the warmer weather is right around the corner for us so and having that in mind we may want to um think about some new things to do with the home right so there's a lot of new things that you can do on a dime and um talking about that is really fun because one of the best zodiac signs for decorating um for fashion for color um for modeling for anything to do with feng shui and that particular sign is libra and we are in luck because on march 28th we have a full moon in libra at eight degrees now I want to talk to you a little bit about this, because this uh, particular full moon is going to be a super moon. Why? What makes it a super moon? That means that it's closest 
to the earth. And when a moon is so full, like, uh, like this one is, um, this particular moon has so many great aspects to it. What makes a full moon? What makes it so bright? It's absolutely opposite the sun. So the sun can just light it up, right? So the sun now is in Aries, which is a fire sign, and Libra is an air sign, but Libra is ruled by Venus. So this is a fabulous time if you're drawing out any kind of architectural plans for maybe, oh, maybe a new pool, maybe a new patio set in the backyard, or, you know, maybe you want to build a shed that you can put all your things in or something like an extension onto the home. You know, we, um, we have a lot of, um, a lot of time in our homes these days, right? Because of the pandemic. And sometimes, you know, we found out we had a rude awakening. We found out that our home just wasn't going to accommodate everything that we needed to do now, as far as working and teaching the kids and doing all of that. And maybe it's come to that you come to the conclusion that, you know what, I can swing this. I can put a new extension onto the home. Libras are fabulous at doing all of this, architecturally, also decorating and um, making a space, I want to say, so um, so upgraded in the frequency that it brings out a lot of love. It ignites the love frequency in the home. And, you know, spending so much time in the home these days, it's really nice to do that. And also harmony. Libras love harmony. They don't like to rock the boat. Um, and this is this is why Libras have a little bit of a hard time making a decision because they can see things this way and they can also see things this way. And so they may take a long time to make decisions. But with all of this Aries energy, Aries decide things just like that. So we get all of the beautiful decorating and the beautiful ideas for design, and we don't have trouble making all the decisions about exactly how it's all going to fit together. So what a great time to really kind of consider um, doing some upgrades on the home. And the home can have like so many fun things. If you have hardwood floors, you can roll up the heavy uh, rugs that you've had in all winter and put down something, something lighter, maybe something brighter in a brighter print. And then you can always trade out the pillows on the couch and, you know, put in new splashes here and there. If you're not one to really bring in some vibrant colors, you may want to do a real pale palette, something that is maybe monochrome or maybe um, something that's just a little bit more simplistic that has beautiful lines to it and um, in an architectural fashion as well. So this is a wonderful time to really get that mind going because like I said, when Mercury is going to be going into Aries, you are going to really just Knock off that list and check every box and you're really going to go forward. This particular full moon in Libra brings in so many facets as to your relationships. Um, Libras, that's what they're all about. They're all about the we and Aries, the sun is shining and shining and and making it seem so beautifully big. Um, Aries is all about the me. And so when we've got all of these kind of opposites, how do we pull this together? You're going to find that you're going to have a little bit of give and take here. You may even have some conversations on, you know, are, are you thinking too much about yourself than maybe the partnership that's going on? Or are you going overboard in your partnership and you're not thinking enough about yourself? 
and really doing the things that you want to do. These are the conversations that are going to be going back and forth. Now, this particular full moon, we've got, we've got a really cool aspect. We have got the sun, we've got Venus, we've got Chiron, and they're all conjunct. They're all on top of each other. They're all holding hands. And the moon is, um, is kind of the at the opposite. So what we call this in astrology, we actually call it the formation of a kite. And what happens is the moon is sort of is sort of the base, the rudder. And we've got the sun, we've got Venus and Chiron. Now Chiron is um, the wounded healer. It is the the, it is the energy that really brings together a wonderful healing that uh, brings about a stability in your life. So we've got these wonderful healing energies hooked together with love and value with Venus and also the mighty sun that gives it all the energy you can possibly imagine. So here we have the moon in beautiful Libra that says, don't worry. We're going to have a great time, this cooperation. I'm going to hold the rudder for you. And, you know, you're going to be flying with the wind. You're going to be going on a journey. You're going to be exploring experiencing exhilaration. You are going to have a lot of freedom. And um, I like to say kind of freedom with grace, um, being a little bit more graceful. Um, this kind of this kind of kite usually gives you a nice boost creatively. And so this all kind of ties into what's going on. We've got the moon, Saturn and Mars making a trine as well. This is going to be a wonderful time to really bring things into your life that are going to stay for a very long time. You know, we've been having a hard time juggling our work, our employment. Um, should we stay or should we go? Should we upgrade or should I turn it all in, cash in my chips and do something else? Now, this energy that's coming up with this full moon, it's going to be something that is a completion. You are going to know exactly this particular Mars work action energy. You may have been... Um, you may have been tying up loose ends on a project. You may have said, you know what, I've reached the end of this and now I'm going to go down a whole new avenue. Um, you may have gotten a promotion. You may have really um, had a rude awakening and said, you know what, I can handle much more now. I'm so streamlined. I've got the support of my family now all organized. Now I can really open up and expand my field of service. You know, these kinds of things are not unusual at this particular time, or you have one ending in your work and you have another opportunity opening up that's going to bring in perhaps more teamwork or a work partnership that is going to last a long time because we've got Saturn there as well. So whatever changes that you're itching to make, you are going to see them really pan out and they're going to fall all into place in April. But this particular full moon has got really a lot of promise to it. So I would really love for you to um, do a little full moon uh, meditation or um, something that perhaps you would like to. This is a great time to clean your crystals perfect time. If you don't know how to clean your crystals, I'll give you a little clue. What I like to do is to take my crystals and be very careful because a lot of crystals that you have may not be, um, may not be water, uh, you know, when water gets to them, they start to dissolve. So we want to be careful of that, but, um, soaking them or rinsing them off in like a, um, 
a salt water is really, really good. And then putting them outside in this beautiful, under this beautiful Libra moon, if you can, I mean, it may be raining or, you know, weather may not, you know, uh, may not be the kindest at this particular time, especially in the spring, but this is a fabulous time to clean your crystals. If you are having inclement weather, here's another trick that you can do. You can actually take your crystals and put them in the ground and bury them for, you know, two to three days under this wonderful uh, super moon. And this will charge them as well, recharge them because crystals, of course, come from the earth right? So give them back a little charge. You know how we charge our phones and our computers? Take your crystals and give them a little earth charge during this particular full moon. If you have an inclement weather around you and they can't really take in that full moon vibe, okay? So after this beautiful full moon, you know, We've got this full moon that's talking about partnerships, talking about completing something, starting off a new sector in your work that's going to bring about stability, not only into your work life, but also into your family life as well. So this is going to be a really good um, I want to say a really good energy, like a foundation that's coming up. And then on Monday, um, March 29th, we've got Mercury that's going to be conjunct Neptune. Neptune rules the imagination. It rules intuition. Beautiful day if you're going to have any kind of readings or if you're going to do any kind of seminars or anything to do with the metaphysical world. It's a fabulous time to do that. But also it's a fabulous time to really um, get your dream journal on and create your vision board. This is a great time to do that. You're going to be having this big surge of um uh of inspiration to create so if you can create something this would be a great time uh to do that decision making well neptune kind of brings in the clouds and the fog a little bit so the facts may be a little bit cloudy i say don't make any huge big movements on the 29th, but dream about what you want to bring into you. You know, there is always something that's a little bit of, I want to say, a little bit of a fun thing that you can do to really bring in that law of attraction. So if you want to bring that dream job to you, you know, dream exactly, visualize, exactly what it is that you want. Even if it is a romantic partner, since we have this super moon in Libra that rules harmony, that rules partnerships. I have a little bug here. <laughs> we have the, the, we have the audacity to be able to dream this. And what we want to do is not only visualize it at this particular time, but we also want to do a mudra, which is a hand signal. We want to do a mudra positioning of the hands of the circuitry of your energy field. And we need to use the voice in this time. We need to use a mantra so that we are able to open and seal our energy field. We're going to crank it up a little bit. And then we are going to sing whatever we want to us. And your job, your new home, your new love, your new creative project, it is just going to be so attracted to you. It's going to be like the tides rolling into the sand. And what a great time to do that. On March 30th, we've got Venus and it's sextiling Saturn. Guess what? Whatever you just put out into the universe, it's going to come back to you. And it's going to bring not only exactly what you wanted, but it's going to bring you value. It's going to bring you something that's going to be, well, I want to say it's going to stand the test of time. 
So we've got your value. You've got cha-ching. You can upgrade. You can have a good deal. Let's say you're dreaming about a new vehicle. You can get it at a great price or perhaps great terms if you're doing that. This is going to be absolutely fabulous for you. So we're wrapping up March pretty darn well if you, you know, I think so anyway. So come along with me because after Venus sextiling Saturn, we've got the sun that's going to be sextiling Saturn. That is like All right, now we've got the energy in order to give you exactly what you want. And it's not going to be, you know, a drive by, it's going to be something that you can really sink your teeth into. This is something you can really hang your hat on. This is something that's going to be your address for a long time. This is a car that's really going to stick with you. And it's not going to be a lemon. This is going to be a relationship that you can bank on somebody who's got your back. This is going to be something that what I want to say is going to bring you into a new future. It's exciting, right? I know. So we've got a great wrap up on March. We've got a lot of stuff happening uh, April 1st, you know, April's Fool's Day on Thursday, April 1st. Um, it's an intense day. It's a really intense day because we've got Mercury, the planet of communication, your thought patterns, commerce. It is going to be sextiling Pluto transformation. All this stuff that you have visualized, all this stuff that you have, you know, created and told the universe that you've wanted. Now it's time to transform and to really assimilate all these changes. And this is actually going to be the beginning of a transformational month for all of us. And so, you know, you can't just, um, you can't just bring in all these wonderful things without making some changes, right? And so this is going to kick it off in a good way. Because when we've got Mercury, the planet, like how we're thinking about things, how we're going to change this, this wonderful new transformation, this wonderful new upgrade, um, it's going to come to you like that. And when you really take the time to focus in and to get extremely, I want to say blinders on, road ahead, what do I need to make this transition as smoothly as possible? This is exactly what the universe is backing you on. So what a great time to start uh, to start in April, right? What's a, it's a great month to start in this particular way. You know, I'm going to be talking a lot about current events as well and um, talking a lot about um, uh, what's been going on around us. And I want to know how you feel. So if you would like a reading or um, if you would like to call in, uh, the number is 844-390-8255. I want to right now talk about something about the partnership, something about relationships, something about even when you work together with someone, um, you develop a type of synergy that is even better than when you're separate. And that's exactly what this particular full moon in Libra is all about. And it also is extremely powerful because it's the number eight. And right now we're in the period of eight in feng shui. And our period of eight is extremely powerful. In fact, if you have any eight symbols and you can put it on the side so it looks like an infinity sign, it brings in amazing power for you. Not only to have confidence, but also to bring all of these wonderful projects and these dreams to uh, fruition and also completion. So we've got this wonderful number eight um, at eight degrees that we're um, having this Libra full moon as well. But what are the expectations of partnership? You know, I mean, 
when you are in a partnership, it can be a marriage, it can be a work partnership, but when you are day to day in this particular partnership and you have to build a third entity of us, of we, we've got you, we've got me, and now we've got us. What are the expectations? Interesting. I've heard so many times people always say, well, if you don't want to be disappointed, don't expect anything. But in order to really dream and in order to create, in order to put some forms, some boundaries, um, also to really have a direction in where and how this particular us is going to work, there has to be a little bit of expectation. And it's not a bad thing to write them down. It's not a bad thing at all. It's not a bad thing to have open communication uh, or, you know, to have a very clear understanding as to what your, um, what your position is in the partnership, what also their position is in the partnership, what your responsibilities are, that you can always go back and change them. You can always expand them. And if one person isn't good at something, you know, maybe the realization is going to be coming up that they don't like to do that particular expectation. And um, maybe the other person, you know, is very good at that. And you work back and forth. But when you are bringing your partnership first together, it's always a really, really good time to communicate and to really say, you know, I like to do things this way. I'm this way. I know myself. If you don't know yourself, um, partnerships are a wonderful way to learn about yourself. Even when you're young and you're just learning about partnership skills, it's a wonderful way to learn life and to learn new lessons through partnerships. You can work in your cubicle all on your own, but then when you're put together with someone, you have to collaborate. It could be a little bit difficult. You don't know how to work with someone. You don't have the relationship skills um, in order to bring out the best that you that you know and the gifts that you have to put on the table versus perhaps somebody else and they're struggling to get a one up on you to put their gifts first so it's really good to have an open communication and to say okay we're going to talk about where we're going we're going to talk about our partnership we're going to talk about teamwork we're going to talk about how you have your wonderful gifts. I have my wonderful gifts. And how do we make the team even more wonderful and get the right intention towards expectation? And that's the key. When you're open and you've got these best intentions about how you see a partnership, I think that that's really what we need to know and what we need to see. Um, I am on the Facebook page over at Kimla and Company. I want to say happy birthday to Sheila. I want to say hi to Carla. I want to say hi to Mr. Bill. I want to say hi to my Sheena and Liana and Kyla. Um, I, oh, and I want to say congratulations to Ethan. And um, my work with Ethan has been so much fun. We have had so many um, wonderful 
uh, homes that we have previewed and he has decided on his sacred space and we have um, finished all the paperwork all the funding is done he's got the keys so congratulations to Ethan I'm so happy that um, and he's so thrilled and he actually found a little piece of magic. So uh, we're very, very excited for him. All right. If anyone wants to come into the chat room, go to Facebook and in the little search bar, put in Kimla and company. And I'm right there. Okay. <laughs> So you can come in and say hello. Hello to everybody in there. Um, I'm so glad. Sheila, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Sheila actually came and uh, she was my, my house guest. Mr. Bill and I, we had a lovely time with Julie and Sheila. And she added so much pizzazz yeah. to our life. So I just wanted to say that as well. Okay, everybody, we're going to take a short break. And then we're going to come back. We're going to do some free reading. So why don't you uh, call in? It's um, 840 Three nine zero no eight four. I'm sorry, eight four four three nine zero eight two five five. Again, eight four four three nine zero eight two five five. I'd love to do a reading for you, so call in. Okay, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. You're listening to Inside Company right here on Contact Talk Radio. Company is sponsored by LowTeamRealty.com. Buy low, sell high with Keller Williams, Lake Travis Marketplace, Austin, Texas. Let us refer you to an expert agent near you. Buy low, sell high with LowTeamRealty.com. And we're back. Okay, if you are, oh, hi, Laura, how are you? <laughs> oh, you missed the number to call in. Okay, the number is 844-390-8255. Okay. Sheila on hold. All righty, we've got a caller. So put the caller through. Hi, caller, how are you? Hi there. Hello, is this Sheila? It is. How happy, are you? Happy birthday, Sheila. How are you? I'm having a great day. It's been great. Wonderful. How are you celebrating your big birthday? I've been busy all day just trying to keep up with all my blessings. <laughs> all my wishes catching all, your all my birthday wishes and then my children were here and um it's just been great wonderful wonderful well i've got something that's coming up for you and um for your reading and i feel like there's going to be some kind of a wonderful new turnaround for your health and I, I don't know if you're having any tests done or something like that, but I think you're going to be um, wonderfully uh, relieved. I think the health is going to be improving. And I think each day you're going to make a decision that it's up to you. And so you're going to take full responsibility for what you need to do. But I feel like this year for you is going to be something where there's going to be a little bit more of um, effort put into not only your own health, but I feel like you're going to be helping others as well. And it's going to bring in a wonderful abundance, not only in money, 
but a wonderful abundance into your soul and your spirit. And here's the opportunity card. <laughs> Can't make this up. It's absolutely fabulous. Did you want to ask me any questions that I can kind of look in for you? No, I just wanted you to tell me what you feel and what you know. I I just go with the flow. You pretty much know that. And I just go where I'm guided. And um, you're Absolutely. such a, a, a wonderful member. And you you just helped me out so much. Oh, um, do you have any messages from others? Um, I don't know what actually, else to do. <laughs> right, right. Actually, I have, um, I've got, uh, they're coming through as a, uh, a high, uh, it's a female higher, higher, um, queen like. So I'm thinking this would be your mother that's coming through. And I feel like she's, She's got lots of flowers in her hands. So she's got lots of flowers. And she says, um, I want you to be queen for a day. So do you remember that show when we were kids and it was called Queen for a Day? And they put the crown on and had the cloak and, and the big thing of roses. Do you remember that show? But you, you know what? You want You know how blessed I am? I've worn that crown lots of days. <laughs> there you, you know go. I mean? Yes, I do. Your mom wants you to feel like you were queen for the day. And I have to honestly say there's so there's so many people that um that have gone through a lot of conflicts. They've gotten to the other side. They've rested. They, they feel as though you've helped them on their journey. They've helped, you've helped them. They're, they're telling me they're in a group almost. It's, this is like having almost like a group meeting, but they're saying that you, you helped them uh, almost like a, um, a healing of a, of a wound of like a soul wound. And so you have helped them and they said that you can help others and that you should help others. You've directed that to your family quite a bit. And now it's time to expand out and get that acknowledgement or get that exchange on a um, kind of more of an open level. So they're saying that you can help other people heal or heal from their wounds. But the people that are coming in to give you a great big hug, they, I look at them and they, they look like they have been through, um, through conflict. They look like they're, um, they're tired, they're worn out, they're, you know, they've gone through a lot of things and that you've helped them a great deal more than you can even imagine. And they've got a rainbow over you. So I don't know where you are at the moment, but I feel like there's going to be a rainbow. I hope you catch it. They're telling, it's not, to, it, it's obviously what in the next, okay. It's in the next two days. Can you watch out for a rainbow in the next two days? I got the yes card. It's coming. <laughs> I, I absolutely can and absolutely will. Very good. Because a, that's, that's going to validate. Yep. That's going to validate um, that all of these people are coming through on the other side for you. And it's going to be um, kind of like a really uh, happy thing for them to have you be acknowledged I also feel like there's you you're going to go to some type of um I want to say I don't know whether it's a gathering or a seminar but you are going to hear somebody um it could be even that you're 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 gathering around maybe a Zoom call or or it it's something it's someone that you have only heard about and now they're 
and now you're going to be in front of them for the first time. They're going to speak to you and something is just going to shiver right up you. You're going to go, oh my gosh, that resonated with me so much. And then you will know in an instant exactly the next step you're going to take. And I feel like this speaker is a female. I feel like, um, I feel like it's almost like this, it's almost like an angel coming to you, but this speaker is very, um, very spiritual. It's not like anyone in like, you know, um, in the work field or anything like that, but I feel it's a, it's a metaphysical spiritual person. And this, this one's really going to rock you out. So if you have any kind of an invitation or any plans to go hear a speaker or anything like that, please do so, okay? You are meant to be in that audience. Okay, are you there? Okay. We lost her, so we'll get to the next caller, which is... Uh... Ben, which is Laura. All righty, next caller. Hello. Okay. Hi, Laura. Hello. Hello. How are you? I am so good. How are you? I am fantastic. I was late to the party because I had to do a final walkthrough on our house. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. And, and it, Thank you. I wanted to say you were right. I was concerned about putting the house on the market during a retrograde. And you said, well, did you buy it during a retrograde? And I said, I don't know. I have to go look. And I did buy it during a retrograde. Seeing the house on the market during a retrograde. And it sold. Yeah, it's off. I hit the button there. I, our house sold during a retrograde with three amazing offers without a hitch. So Yay. Thank you. Yay. I am so glad you called in. I do remember that. And, um, and that, and that's, what's really great about retrograde periods, what you do during a retrograde period. Um, if you buy anything, sell anything, and it's time to let it go during a retrograde period. I'm so glad. Well, congratulations for you. Let me give you a little bit more insight here. Um, correct me if Thank I'm you. wrong, but are you doing more traveling before you can put this stuff together in the house? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of traveling. Okay. Because I feel like oh, it's almost like, okay, I really want to put this together, but I've got to do this and I've got to do that. And I've got to do this and I've got to do that. And um, I feel like I want you to know that, you know, all of this is going to come together and it's on, you know, universal time, how it all works out. So I don't want you to get jammed up in other words. I don't want you to get jammed up feeling like, oh, wow, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm going crazy because this has to get done and that has to get done. They're telling me that the, the, the slower you go, the better off it's going to come out. Does that make sense? Oh, it does. It really does. I was gone for 50% of the month of March trying to leave a house I've been into for 16 years. Right. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I have a lot of projects on my plate. So you're right. I do need to slow down. Thank you. Yeah. I feel like the slower, the better. And you're going to, you know, especially when Mercury goes into Aries, you're, you're going to want to rush, rush, rush and, and do things quickly and make decisions quickly. And they're telling me that you, you don't need to feel um oh by the way you're extremely protected right now I want you to know that thank you and I do I okay. can feel my team all over good because I feel like you're moving into a very very good space uh so now the next two cards that I picked of course were the teaching card and the writing card <laughs> 
<laughs> I, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. So um, wow. do you have any seminars that you would like to tell us about? I have been doing a few seminars. One is on healing the healers. And I work with the healing arts communities and I teach them how to mitigate and transmute detrimental energies and how to deal with negative entities as well. Um, because clients always have baggage on them, right? Right. So that's one of the things that I'm doing. And I have also been doing a lot of past life regression hypnosis and soul retrieval for some of the most vulnerable of people. And it's been very rewarding and satisfying and healing. So those are a few of the things I've got going on. And I'm also writing a book that should be out soon. I've got to hurry up and finish writing that, but not hurrying up and finishing. So. <laughs> Um, that's great. And, you know, Laura is, she has such a unique story. And um, if you would like to get a hold of Laura, trust me when I tell you, there is no one that will be able to empathize with you if you feel as though there's an energy within the home or perhaps an energy that has arrived in your life uninvited. She knows this almost too, too well. And she can, through thick and thin now, she has developed wonderful properties on how to service and help others who are going through what she went through. Laura, how can they get a hold of you? Um, they can go to thekarmicpath.com, K-A-R-M-I-C-P-A-T-H, um, or, you know, simply um, Laura at thekarmicpath.com. And that's what I do. It's what I'm passionate about. I used to be a normal person until, you know, the house opened up with all kinds of entities and beings and I had to figure it out. I was a school teacher, um, but I'm not the only one with this situation, these issues. Um, and now I help other people in that same, in that, in those same situations. So it's very rewarding when people get to have their lives back and they get to have a good night's sleep again and Absolutely. they can live without the fear and anxiety. Yeah, absolutely. She told her so life. Thank you. Yeah, she told her life in detail. She was a guest on my show. So if you want to go to Contact Talk Radio Network and dot com and go to my host page, Kim Lalo, all of the archive shows are there. And um, Laura uh, Van Tyne and my show is there in the archives. And you can listen to that and Really, it is heart gripping her um, her experiences with her family and um, and just know that you will feel very, very safe um, putting your trust in her. Um, so um, get a hold of her if there is anything that you may feel as though there's an entity that's come into your home. Or if you'd like a past life regression because you're unable to um, get through the blockages or you're unable to um, explain, you know, some of the phobias that you have and things like that, she can really help you. I have the justice card here, my dear. So I feel like there's going to be things coming up for you having to do with perhaps decisions or maybe has to do with something in the law I feel like there's going to be something better than you thought coming your way wonderful thank you absolutely my pleasure my pleasure and do you have a question for me um oh my goodness I have just so much change going on in my life right now I don't even know which side is up <laughs> so do I have a question I think you actually answered it about the future um as far as 
some things coming up. I actually, you know what? I take that back. I do have a question. I've been okay. wrestling with this concept of two books. Which one should I publish first? Karmic Intrusions or Soul Tribe? I am really stuck. Um, it's really funny because they're showing me the one that looks like the cover is more green. I don't know what you have in mind, but there's one where the, the cover is more like a greenish color. That's the one that'll go okay. first. I feel like, I feel like okay. I'm, hear, I'm hearing tandem. <laughs> so I don't think it's one versus the other, but I think there is a little bit more energy around some book cover that has a little bit more green to it. So okay, that, that makes sense. That, yeah, if that helps and you I'm at all. thinking tandem as well. Yeah, I'm thinking tandem because that's what they're showing me. Bicycle bill for two. So I think that's how it's going to work. Yeah, definitely. I do. Awesome. Thank you. I also feel like so they're talking to you. I feel like there's a, let me just t- say this really quickly. I feel like there's a big, huge crystal coming into your life. Big one. A big, huge what? You cut up. A big crystal. What? A crystal. Okay. All right. I don't know if you're going to go crystal hunting or if this is going to be given to you, but I feel like it, it's hmm. calling your name. Definitely calling your name. <laughs> All right. I'll take that. <laughs> Enjoy awesome. that. Thanks, Laura. Congratulations on your new well, home. Thank you. Okay. And thank you for that advice about the Mercury retrograde and selling a home. That was priceless. So thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. All right. We'll speak soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks for calling in. Okay, everybody. That's a, you know, that's a really nice, uh, nice note. And I'm glad that she called in about it. Um, because some people put off doing actions or going forward with their life when Mercury is in retrograde or, you know, seemingly to go backwards because of the fact that you, you do everything twice, paperwork, you know, becomes boggled, um, funding usually falls apart, um, the offer you put in, you know, sometimes, you know, you turns out to be something that, um, isn't what you expected and it can go on and on and on. But if you bought your house or your car or whatever it is that, you know, you're trying to trade out here during a mercury retrograde, all of that is null and void. That means it's just going to go smooth, smooth, smooth. If you turn around and deal in that mercury retrograde period. So don't put off Um, anything. And if you need counsel, if you need some really good advice, I'd love to be able to look at your chart and tell you exactly what the cosmic weather is around you to be making decisions. um, And also the positioning of the home that is going to give you the best abundance, the best health, um, the best harmony within the home and your family by using feng shui principles. So if you would like to have a session with me, I would love for you to be able to meet you on uh, astrology um, abundance. I want you to look at your own soul imprint so that you know it. You know how to work with it. You know why you're here. You know what your mission is. You know, those are things that you don't learn in school. You don't learn these kinds of things, um, you know, chatting with your friends or um, taking some type of a, you know, a college course. This is the kind of thing that when you go into the metaphysical world, There are people there that can tear down the boundaries, make these kinds of things so clear for you that you know in your heart that it resonates with you. And that's exactly what I love to do. And if I can help you out, go to KimlaLowe.com and book a session with me. 
Okay. I'd love to work with you. Well, that's the end of the show. So until next time, may the angels protect you and guide you. Good night, everyone.